and and that's one of the beautiful things about about this signature is there's a lot I met a lot of amazing people like you uh, I know a lot of people that know your story and how impressive that is because I remember when you were on stage with Exit yeah you know what I mean it's I said, I said you should have been an actor man oh yeah <laughs> you know really uh -huh. I mean that. Uh, it was I, I can remember timing. Everything was perfect. Yeah, I mean, perfect I, storyteller. I like, wow, man. I mean, you had, you know, like the book we're reading now. Yeah. Of of connecting. Yes. You know. Yes, and, he has that. Yeah, and and yeah. that's what it was. Is uh, your ability to connect with people mm. is just amazing. Thank you. You, you know, and, and uh, but that's what I love about being part of this. Uh, you know, it's like our, the book club is, is special to me. So uh, we have read books for years. So we, That's been going on since the exit days, uh -huh, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and so I've read so many books with this man, mm -hmm. and what it's done for me is it always made me calendar time to have that be a priority, mm -hmm. you know? And then we're reading all these different books, but he has the life experience, and so he's been such a mentor to me. Mm -hmm. And when I'm thinking, okay, I'm having a minute, or, oh, my kids are twisting my arm a little bit, he would always give me hope. But it was funny because we would pick the books that we were going to read, and it seems like every single time throughout all of these years, the book is exactly what I needed right at the time that we were reading it. Now, he'll read 10 books at the same time, and he's already read some of the books that we actually read together. <laughs> um, and then he'll give them to me and say, okay, try this one, try this one. And that's been our relationship of just him pouring into me the knowledge and the wisdom that he's had in his life. And there's not a lot of people that are willing to do that for another human. And so I have just been eternally grateful for it because one of my best friends, you know? Well, I get a lot Change out of it, life. too. You know what I mean? It's like I learn uh, while we're, we're talking. I learn a lot of stuff. I mean. Yeah, he knows uh, all my deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> yeah. It gets interesting. You know? It, it's like some of the people that were helped through the book club. Yes. Uh, yes. You know? That completely changed her life. Yeah, mm -hmm. Christina Hudson. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was going through what, what leaving out, leaving then? her marriage, uh, uh, and then the other girl that was uh, that was our front desk girl, and then she left. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I forget whatever. I, it's a heaven to have. It's a highly success. I don't know where we were reading, but it turned her life around yeah. completely. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and and it's like she was not in a good spot. But that was really uh, one of the beautiful parts about uh, being part of the book club is, is when somebody really gets something out of it because you get something out of it too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it, it, for, for me, the joy in giving is, is just seeing, you know, uh, how it helps people in life. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've, I've got a lot of help in life. Uh, like from Susan, it's like you've always been there. You know, and and uh, you always make fun out of me. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the way I connect. I know. Yeah. Uh, I, I I said this for years, but I only make fun of the people that I love. So I love you, Bobsky. <laughs> what was that last one though? You said that you met somebody somewhere that did. Uh, I want you, and I, and I just said back, yeah, I met you. I knew know you. Oh. Uh, Years from now, people will remember you because of the weird thing that you did when they met you or something like that. Oh. Yeah. And I says, hey, I met you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's why he remembers you, John. My natural instinct when meeting new people or going to office meetings or whatever is I just instantly do weird stuff or say weird things, like uh -huh. the most absurd thing. Because yep. I think it's a good icebreaker. Yeah. You know, because people are so used to, hi, how are you? And yeah. I go... Oh wow! It looks like you just got dropped off by the school bus. How was that? You know, it doesn't even make sense. You know, <laughs> it's impulsive. Yeah. It's fun though. It's fun. Yeah. So we've had book club all of these years, and we meet on Tuesdays, mm -hmm. and that's my time to say, okay, I'm checking out for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm leaning in to the thing that is growth, and you know, exercising the time. And it's for a minute, I was like, okay, I'm too busy, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. And I'm like, okay, I'm missing something. That's when and you need it the most. Yes, mm -hmm. and they would be in the room and I'd be like, okay, I have to run over here, I have to run over there. And then I went, wait a minute, I'm running because I'm not being grounded 
and solid in my own growth routine. And yeah. that's when I went, okay, I'm, I got to just be there. Yeah. I got to be there. And then we had a couple people that one left the brokerage and one is retired and traveling the world. And, and I'm like, no, we're still doing this. <laughs> I, got, I need it. Like I need the connection and I need the wisdom and I need the diligence to sit. And some weeks we will sit and just chat and he'll listen to all my nonsense yeah. and then give me words of wisdom. And then I go home and I try them. <laughs> I do. And most of the time they work.